you know, I thought our guys came out tonight and played with some really good energy, really good effort. Uh, I thought our three seniors were good, and that's why we were good. And um, we definitely have some, some areas of improvement, but, you know, if your energy and effort are good, it kind of gives you time to, to fix some other things. And um, really satisfied with the, with the student turnout tonight. We put forth a little bit of effort for that, and uh, it, was, it was great to see, see those students there. So, you guys fire away. You bring up the seniors, just JD coming in with a career high of points on opening night. You see something like that coming? Mm -hmm. what, was, what was special about tonight? Well, I mean, you know, I've said all year long, I think if anyone deserves to have a good year, it's Jared Dixon. Um, tough kid, hard worker, does whatever you ask him. Um, he has to do that this year when I'm going to win. I mean, it's, it's one of those situations where he doesn't have the luxury to not be good. And uh, tonight he was good. And, and again, we were good. And uh, now, can he go 11 for 17 and 4 of 8 for 3 for 26 every night? Probably not, but we do need him to be a, be a guy that we can count on uh, to put up numbers. Seniors being seniors, doing what they're supposed to do. Um, again, you know, I mean, it's, it's what he's, they, they just did what they're supposed to do. And uh, Craig has been a little banged up, so it's good to see him come out and play with the pop, which he hadn't looked that good at all since I've been here. It's the best I've ever seen. Correct little look, and um, he gave us some good, valuable minutes. And again, we're going to be as good as those seniors are. And I thought Church had a good floor game too. And he didn't. I mean, he played 25 minutes, but I mean, he literally did everything. He got seven rebounds, six points, three assists, four blocks, and a steal. And uh, we're going to need him to score more eventually. But I thought tonight he, he did a good job in his role as well. In the second half, we got a little stagnant, and, and I think that we kind of picked up on the fact that they really couldn't guard the ball very well. That's a young team, very inexperienced, five freshmen, um, a couple of junior college guys, and they just don't quite understand how to defend at this level. And so once we noticed that, we, we just felt like we didn't have to necessarily settle for three. But we do need to shoot more because we, we need to make more than six like we need more than six points from three. So we're going to have to go back and watch and see how we were able to get off 12 in the first half and, and only eight in the second. I, I will say this, I didn't think we ran hard in transition in the second half. And, and you know, our biggest problem this year is depth. It'll always be that. So maybe, maybe, that, maybe that was part of it. Well, you know, I'll start with the bat. I mean, the second half, they missed a lot of open shots. It's a young team. I mean, that freshman playing in that arena and that backdrop and they missed a lot of open shots. We, we, we got screened in the second half. Now, first half, after the first four minutes, it was a little better. Um, so we're going to have to go back and watch the tape on that. But I was pleased with the amount of turnovers that we had and the fact that we could score off of them. It's a game of possessions, right? We, we want to try to get 15 more than the other team. And luckily tonight, we turned them over because we didn't hit the offensive glass very hard. But we ended up with 14 more possessions than them. And then on top of that, they struggled to shoot. And, and that, that really caused us to, to do well defensively. Before. Well, you know, we just, we always say before we go out offensively, get a shot for someone else. Like, that's what we're trying to do. And, and I think that he really takes that to heart. And uh, he's a pass first point guard. And, and he's definitely someone that, you know, we feel like needs to do that. And, um, Shimon Wojcik has been under the weather. When, when he's an option out there, then he'll have he'll have more options to, to, to get assists because he really stretches the floor. He's a fantastic offensive player. So we, we kind of expect that from Josh. I mean, that's his role, to, to get a shot for someone else. And uh, tonight as a whole, as a team, we had 21 assists. And that's, a, that's a good problem to have. And um, we only turned it over 12 times, one time too many. But um, we, I guess you could live with that ratio of 21 to 12. You know, I, the only part of it I paid attention to was the student section because we tried to put forth a little effort with it. I thought that it had good energy, um, which is what we need. But like our team, the crowd needs to get better. You know, it was good today, but, but it needs to get better. It does. And um, I think it will. I mean, we have to prove ourselves. I mean, we're not. We, we, we get it. We get it. What do you think you proved tonight? Right. Well, our guys will play with effort. They'll play with some energy, and uh, they're pretty good if there's no adversity. There was there was no adversity tonight, and we were pretty good. So we'll see when adversity hits what we can do. Five years ago, when I coached my first game, 
Um, I didn't know what to expect, right? But kind of now I know what to expect. I mean, the, the tougher team's going to win. The team that defends and rebounds and doesn't turn it over is probably going to win. And um, I wasn't nervous tonight at all. Um, I thought our guys were prepared. You know, we had a, we had maybe one guy at shoot around today that wasn't quite ready with the game plan. So I was a little worried about him. But as long as the guys know what we're trying to do, I, I'm, I'm not that worried. Again, now, I said this yesterday. I've also gotten to a point where I don't live and die with winning and losing, right? So if I were to lose today or we were to lose today, and that was the worst thing that would have happened to me today, I still would have had a pretty good day. Uh, it felt pretty good, pretty good. Um, just just um, to get started the season. and. Uh, it was really excited um, coming in. I mean, there's probably a little nerves to about because we have a lot of guys that ain't played at this level yet. But just uh, just as a senior, I'm just trying to be a leader, and I just got to do what I got to do just to help this team win. I mean, I didn't really think about it too much. I just, I mean, I wanted to just be aggressive from this jump and uh, just don't be in my heels. And um, it just kind of, I just wanted to win because we, we lost to them last year and we played them the previous year. So I just really just wanted to win. Yeah, it's, it's just, I mean, I put up a lot of shots in the summer. and. Um, I think each year I've gotten better just shooting the ball, but I just feel a lot more confident and comfortable now. Just as a leader and senior, it's just um, I don't really hesitate as like I did in the past. So. I was out there playing. Um, I mean, it's our senior year, first game, first home opener. Uh, I was just excited to be out there to play. And I know that um, with the new everything, new system, new the crowds into it, so I mean, we just got out there trying to give them our best and uh, give each other our best. So went out there and played hard. And that's something Coach Boards was preaching to us, just don't hesitate, uh, be aggressive with everything, um, just get in. If you got a shot, put it up, kick it out, just play loose and uh, just attack the, attack the best game. Uh, my first D1 game felt good. Uh, we had a good good crowd. Uh, we had a lot of energy playing like, for the team, and we got them win. I mean, he said every day in practice and uh, before the game and stuff like that, so I mean, it's just like he, um, Coach Ford doesn't really like, uh, he doesn't like when you're not, I mean, out there thinking and stuff. He just wants you to just play and just, just play free, really. Is hair on fire is tight? That's his, uh, that's his phrase. Yeah, that's his favorite phrase. Yeah, you were saying that. You guys sick of it yet? Or? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet. Like it. I, I, like the, I like the principle behind it. Just play it. It's mm -hmm. great. Well, we, we work a lot in practice on our sets, and uh, we really take pride in it. And uh, we really drill like our, our half court sets. and. Um, a lot during practice, and I mean, we got a lot of a good players, as you can see. And um, we, he really takes pride on on being good offensively, and then like in transition, he wants us to attack no matter what. Yeah, we're trying to uh, put, just put an emphasis on on having an identi identity on defense. Just uh, that's just something that we're trying to take some pride in, just to get up into people and uh, get some easy offensive points off our defense, and just run a transition and stuff like that. So um, that comes with playing with their hair on fire. Uh, and so that's just, yeah. I think it, it's improved a lot since uh, that last press conference, even. Um, I mean, we just got a whole lot of new pieces in here. And uh, people just, their first D1 games, everything like that. Um, everyone's still learning. Learn how to play with each other, learning how to, to uh, learn the new principles that they're coming into. So, I mean, it's just, just a work in progress. I mean, we're going to get there.